greetings and a warm welcome to human dhs human dignity and humiliation studies as a compliment evelyn for such a opportunity bestowed on me to address you it's my privilege and an honor a profound one at that to speak a few words as you all know the pandemic has brought our own civilization face to face with our own destinies with our own consciousness and also the perils that we face against our own selves because we as humans can get misguided and it is in our own image that i address three important virtues one is love of prem compassion of karuna and service that is duty these are the eternal words which have been expressed from times immemorial from the times of buddha to adinath to mahavir from christ himself to prophet muhammad and also the revered sikh guru the world has become richer over time through these embodiments of peace where the universe itself has become a manifestation of mankind's consciousness all religious beliefs and holy books all around the world have brought the virtues of dignity humility compassion prem and service but there are a few more words which i would like to add today and these eternal words are happiness honesty integrity peace humility forgiveness simplicity freedom cooperation respect tolerance acceptance love responsibility compassion and they are the words which will bring individual consciousness to our own collective consciousness and in ancient times it was believed that every human has the potential to reach greatness and that greatness is nothing but godliness said aham parma brahma or atma to parmatma that is reaching a higher level of consciousness for our civilization also that is a possibility which is immense and which is very much possible let me say a few words as a chair the center for global non killing at hawaii i should be talking about something on non killing because non killing actually implies life itself of course and with life comes human dignity as we know there have been threats to civilization as in this pandemic and there will always be but also the fact remains that traditional peace may remain elusive to most but affirmative non killing peace is real it's more about humanism to its very core it's about totalitarianism versus freedom it's about faith liberty it's also about life as such which is our own existence now to achieve a civilizational ascent we have to value life because life remains our own genesis it's our own survival it's also the alpha and the omega of our own existence and with it human dignity with these words i'll say tathastu which actually implies it's a sanskrit word it implies so be it so i'll say tathastu so be it and with this jay jagat or victory to the world which is very much possible ever in even in our own lifetimes so let me again once again thank you all
my gratitude as I welcome you. Thanks so much.